So we're going to take a look at one short run versus long run example. Uh, suppose that a firm has historically produced 15,000 caps, experiences a sharp permanent uh, increase in demand that leads it to produce uh, not 5,000, but 25,000 units. Explain how its average total cost will change in the short run and in the long run. Explain what the firm should do instead if it believes the change in demand is temporary. So is this a good thing or is it a bad thing? Well, I mean, it's a good thing that there's suddenly an increase in demand for uh, making caps, but conversely, you're not prepared to do that. So how is that going to look on a short run versus a long run scenario? So let's take a look at caps here. And uh, on the y-axis is going to be uh, the cost. And on the x-axis is going to be the quantity of caps. Okay, so... What you're going to do here is you're going to draw a long uh, LRATC here. And kind of at the point right here, you do the long AR, LRATC. Long run average total cost. And here, we're going to jot that as being uh, 15,000. Now why 15,000? That has been the historical number of production for, for these caps for the longest time. However, um, what's going to end up happening here is you have a short run. So you have ATC. This is ATC when you're making 15,000. Okay. Now, ex uh, firm has historically produced 15,000 caps, experiences a sharp permanent increase in demand that leads it to produce 25,000. So let's say for some reason they make 25,000 here. So 25,000. What ends up happening here is that you have point A right here. Uh, they produce a point B here. So the ATC is going to be higher than it was at 15,000 because remember, they were only equipped to sell 15,000. So in order to meet the demand, they produce more. They add it to the variable cost rather than you know use the fixed cost in the beginning. So at part B here, the ATC is going to be greater than the LRATC here. Now, if it adjusts for the long run, what they're going to do is they're going to minimize that and they're going to go to point C. And now they're going to be on a completely different short run average total cost curve because it has a different fixed cost. And what ends up happening here is you have an average total cost here and ATC at 25000 ATC here of 25,000. Now let's take a look at uh, another situation. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, that instead of making 5,000, suddenly there's a reduction in demand, and now it's, it is, uh, instead of making 15,000, they make 5,000. So this would be point, uh, point D. Now the ATC is going to be greater uh, in the short run than it is for the long run. So to adjust for that, the firm could decide, you know what, we're going to have a fixed cost that only accommodates 5,000. And the ATC, therefore, is going to be uh, on the LRATC, and the costs are going to be minimized. And this is the ATC at 5,000. So that answers basically... You know, what would happen if it produced 25,000 units? And I just added, well, what would happen if they only produced um, 5,000 rather than 25,000? So explain how its average total cost will change in the short run and in the long run. Now, uh, the secondary part of this question was explain what the firm should do instead if it believes a change in demand is temporary. So let's say they built uh, 25,000 caps. 25,000 caps. So obviously the ATC here is higher than in the long run. But if they project that this is only a temporary situation, then they should operate the business assuming that they're going to go back down to its uh, 15,000, which is the historically uh, consistent mark that they've been uh, producing. So if this is just a temporary spike in demand, then it doesn't make, sh make sense to adjust here 
um, to this point of making 25,000. Otherwise, what's going to happen is instead of uh, uh, working on this ATC, what ends up happening is that if you adjust for a fixed cost of 25,000, and now you only make 15,000, what you end up is you're at point F, and the ATC now is higher. So it's really important to, as a business, to be able to project what your quantity is going to be. Now, obviously, you might not know, and situations might be different, but it is helpful, and you want to adjust accordingly. Thank you again for watching educator.com.